Hey everybody, today we're going to be working on the third module of our Eurorack synth build. This is going to be the envelope generator, uh, which is going to do some fun things to the audio signal once we get it plugged into the other modules in the synth. But to start off, we have a single PCB board, um, which is a little different from some of the other ones we've had where they've stacked uh, one on top of the other. This is just a single board. Um, it has a lot of the same components that we've seen before, which um, you'll see as I populate this board. But here's what it looks like. If I cover up my face. I have my schematics and my parts list uh, ready. So uh, let's get started with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to clean off the board first. <laughs> As I'm soldering in these next components, I want to tell you more about how this project came together. I'm using the open source files made by Erica Synths for these modules. And this is only possible because I found a company that would make the printed circuit boards for me. Because I have neither the tools nor the experience to make my own PCBs at home. The company I used is called PCBWay. All I had to do was send the Gerber files to PCBWay and they were able to manufacture the PCBs and ship them to me. They also provide sheet metal and CNC services, which you'll see near the end of the video because they also made the faceplate for the modules. So if you're looking for a company to do custom PCB work for your next project, check out PCBWay. I'll have their info in the description box below.
Okay, so this is where the single board construction of this module kind of became an issue for me. So we just placed the control knobs on the opposite side, and now we have to solder them in on this side. The only problem is that this side has all the components we already placed, and it just gets really tight and hard to get the soldering iron in the right place. I'm glad it's a single board construction. It's a great way to save space, but it also makes it harder to solder in the controls. So, one of the last things we have to do on this, now that we have all of the uh, controls on the front, there are two little LEDs. They look like this. Very, very teeny tiny. And um, they go through the front of the uh, control panel. And the control panel looks like this. these LEDs, one goes above this port and one goes above this port, and they go like that, if you can see, I mean they fit all the way through. So what you have to do is put them into the board first.
Tom, 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 Tom,